So you got one of the aunties that's going to bring up something that people sometimes forget about it. And usually they, they realize it after the fact, um, when they have, you know, someone, and this can be going toward, you know, having, now she's going to talk about definitely on the side of the man, but you know, it can also be flipped on the side with women as well. So let's go ahead and hear what auntie has to say. And, and, and let's expound on that. I'm going to say this and then I ain't going to say nothing else. Look here. If you are a woman who's got yourself a good man and you that same woman that's taking that good man for granted. Oh, child, I mean, you doing everything you think you big and bad enough to do. I mean, you out there caring on because you know you got his heart. Let me tell you something, baby. I'm going to tell you, don't you make the mistake of getting out of his heart or losing his heart. Because if you do, you ain't getting them back. You ain't getting them back. Once a man is done with you, he done with you. It ain't like a woman. See, we, we, we allow you to come back, come back, come back, come back. Mm -mm. But once a man is done with you, he all the way done. Baby, I'm going to tell you something. If you got yourself a good man, you better behave yourself. Y'all here with your chest out, thinking you got it going on. See, and I'm going to tell you something. Single women, it's a whole lot of us out here. I mean, it's a millions, millions of women out here that's got it going on. Got their own car, got their own homes, look good, smell good, work hard, do all the things they need to do. Honey, they got it going on. You hear me? Let me tell you something. We don't like y'all. We don't like women who got good men and don't know how to uh, treat them right and take them for granted. We don't like y'all. See, because it's almost to us like wasting food, wasting a real good meal. See, that's what it's like to us. And let me tell you something. It's a problem. It's a problem because you are blessed to have yourself somebody that loves you, that wants to be with you, that wants to do things with you, that tells you he loves you, that's by your side, baby. When you got that, let me tell you something. You are blessed. Don't you take that for granted. Don't you take that for granted and be out here carrying on with your chest stuck out because you know you got his heart. I can promise you, you ever lose his heart, you in trouble because you will never get back in his heart again, huh? And it'll be some wonderful woman out here just waiting for herself a good man like the one you take it for granted. You know, I was always told that good people are not easy to find, but you always can find trouble. You can always find a problem very quickly. A problem is always easy because there's so much of that out here. So much toxicity, so much uh, people that are out here want to lie and cheat and steal and, 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 and cause mess and drama. But when you get a person in your life, she's speaking on the guise of a man. Let's say you have a good man in your life. He may not be perfect. Of course, he's not going to be perfect. Um, is he may be some rough around the edges? Maybe. Um, you know, all human beings are work in progress. None of us are perfect at all. She's talking about men. We don't, you know, no matter how, what, we as men are, are still learning too, right? And as men, we have so many things that's on us that we're trying to figure out. We're trying to make sure, but we love, you know, a woman. Um, we're going to try to do everything we can for her. You know, and when she takes it for granted or she's out there disrespecting him in the streets, whether by in word or disrespecting him indeed. And that's usually when she's talking about getting out of a, 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 a man's, you know, to that point where he's like, okay, I'm done with it. Usually it's going to come from, from the guys of disrespect or what he deem is something that's disrespectful, right? Maybe something. Cause sometimes, you know, people think it's always a, cheating thing is not always a cheating thing. See the deal with men and, and, and a lot of the ladies need to understand this disrespecting a man sometimes can be, even though cheating is a form of disrespect with him, but even just disrespecting him in word or belittling his manhood, um, putting him down in certain ways, it, it hurts him a lot more because it's coming from you. Like he don't care what somebody say in the world, but if he loves you and, and he really uh, uh, thinks the world of you and, and he's trying to do everything he can to 
uh, make you happy and, and, and what, at least what he can do, right? And you're out there disrespecting him, like Fence is talking down to him, you know, uh, calling him out his name, or maybe you're putting your hands on him for some reason. You think it's legitimate, but it's never a legitimate case to put your hands on a man, you know, unless it's self-defense and it's true self-defense, right? But if it's at that point where y'all trading blows, then nobody needs to be uh, with each other. And, you know, when it comes to disrespect or, you know, not honoring what he, he says, you know, in the area, maybe you just spending money, spending bill money, doing whatever, and the man maybe get tired of it because people always think it's a cheating thing. No, it's not always that, right? And if the man say, okay, man, I'm done, I, I'm done with that. Well, she said is right because men aren't quick to leave a relationship. Men's going to try their best to work it out. Men going to try their best to do anything they can to fix it. So when men say, okay, man, I'm done with that, you know, men using, like she said, is not going to return to it because he know he did everything he could versus she said, women, women, a lot of times will move on impulse or emotions or things like that. Right. Um, I saw a statement the other day that was online that said, men will sacrifice their happiness, you know, for their family and women will destroy their family for their happiness. And I say, wow, that's, that's an interesting statement. But you know, you look at statistics, men aren't the ones that's out here running to file divorce. If you see a man trying to file a divorce, then you know, he's more, is that, that what we talked about? He's at his wits end at that point because he tried everything. But even that case, men aren't trying to do that. Uh, men, you know, technically want to stay with their families. You don't hear men out here saying, I don't need women. Um, you know, most men statistically are still looking for women. According to the text, they are still trying to be married. Uh, men still want families, no matter what, you know, listen, online is one thing and do not let online as a representation of all people. What these women say online is not the representation in the real world. That's just a fringe. What some of these men say online, oh, we don't need no women. Like, you know, they, they'll say some silliness like that and be the same men out here in a woman's face. They'll be talking about single mothers, all oh, these single mothers, and they'll be in a single mother face pushing a baby cart. She got a whole baby she just had four or five months ago, and he'd be trying to talk to that single mother. Do not let no, no keyboard warrior online say anything because most of them, it, it don't matter how that so-called single mother look, if she have a certain look about her, he going to pull right up on it and be stepdaddy. So that's why I said, please don't take what a lot of these people say online. You know what I'm saying? It's just not reality. Once they get off of the, the keyboard, because some people can express themselves in a way they wouldn't express themselves in the real world. And that's not even a reality of how a lot of them are even living. Now on the flip side, you know, we can talk about it in the area of women. Now, uh, you know, I would tell a man, don't take a good woman for granted. Don't be out here, you know, doing her wrong. Don't be disrespecting her. Don't be calling her out her name. Don't be putting hands on her. Do what you're supposed to do as a man. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times with men, you know, uh, sometimes the idea in the streets, doing things they ain't got no business, cheating, doing whatever, and then they lose that woman. And then now, you know, you get back in these streets, realize there's nothing going on in these streets, and you wish you had, you know, what you had at home before, but now you can't get it. If you mess up a good relationship, you may not get that back. Not nine times out of ten, you may not get that back. So it's best to stay with your your woman, sir. <laughs> stay with your woman, treat her right, do what's right by her. You know what's right and what's wrong. Do what's right by her, because there are many men that have regretted doing things and losing a woman too. I've talked to you know, uh, uh, many older men in my lifetime where these older men have regretted, have utterly regretted some things they did to women, wives they may have had, or maybe a girlfriend that they would think back that I, I could have married her. She really wanted to be with me, but I, I was out here chasing women. Oh, I was, I didn't want to work and I didn't want to be a responsible adult. There's many men I've talked to who are older men who don't got nobody still to this day. Because, and they think about that one woman that they didn't treat right. And don't let that be you. You don't want to be that dude. Cause some, sometimes with some of you men, you got good women right now. And your biggest problem is you don't want to settle down. You don't want to, you don't want to have a family. 
I always tell men, what, what, what are you chasing in that street? Seriously. If you got a good woman at home, you know, she a good woman. She ain't out here disrespecting you. She's treating you right. She's doing everything she's supposed to do as a woman. What, what, what else do you need in the street? I never understood that stringing a woman alone thing. Why waste her time in yours? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I just never believed in that. If, if, if you're not going to sit here and, you know, form a family with this woman, then why waste her time? I just never understood that. And I would tell, listen, I got daughters and I say the same thing to my daughters. What I'm saying now, you don't let no man waste your time. A man knows within a, a, a short amount of time, if he really want to be with you or not, I say, look, you shouldn't give no guy. And this is what I've said to my own daughter. They can do what they want. But I say, look, you should give a guy no more than a year. If that guy don't know what he wants to do with you within 12 months, move on, move around. Cause men know if, if, if a woman's marriage material or not, it don't take us that long to figure that out. Some men want a woman, but they don't, but they don't want to go all the way with it. Right. And I know they got little women like that today too, that they don't want to commit either, you know? So that's why you don't want to, if you're the type of person that wants somebody that that's going to go, you know, want a family that need to be established on the first date. You know, when they say, which really what you're looking for, you got to ask what somebody looking for. If they say, oh, I'm just looking to date, then that's not the people you need to be talking to. But if you hear somebody say, I'm looking to, you know, a date, but definitely I want to have a family, look, get married, have, you know, I'm, I'm not looking to be out here doing that sort of thing. If, the, if a man can't tell you that, you know, or if a man is afraid to commit, or if a woman, fellas, is afraid to talk about commitment, and that's where you at, leave her alone or leave him alone. It's just that simple. We got to know up front what we want to do with our lives because it's very serious. You know, having a family, you're building a legacy. But when you do have that person, you know, just, just don't get to a point where you're taking them for granted. Don't do that. Just always treat them right and, 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 and grow that relationship. That's all, you know, sure. Relationships have the ups and downs and all arounds. It do, but stick together. Cause trust me, it's nothing in these streets. Everybody will tell you that I'm pretty sure in the comments section, people will tell you nothing going on in these streets for you. You got somebody stick with them, stick with them. Because, uh, in this day and time, you know, family, family life is, 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 is not, is not like it used to be people breaking up all the time and facility is really not even nothing. You could say, Oh man, I understood why they did that. So just stick together. If you got a man stick with that man, if he's not doing things, that's just anybody in the, in the, in the world will say, nah, what's going Come on now. Same thing. You got a good woman stick with her. Y'all, y'all, you know, go through it. Life is about ups and downs. You know, you remember grandma, Grandpa was married 40, 50 years. You think they didn't have their ups and downs. It happens, but hey, they stuck it out. 